Hey, Richard. What's up? Oh man, to be honest, man, I just, whenever I'm called, really, it's just making sure I try to make a play. So, you know, early on, it was a lot of special teams, you know, no animosity at all. Like, I'm helping the team win regardless. You know, if I'm out there, I'm able to help the team win. So, I wasn't really thinking much into it. I was just waiting on my turn. Uh, I honestly can't, you know, try to act like I can read his mind or anything, <laughs> but like, you know, it's just, you know, they coach for a reason. This is the highest level. So when they know, they know, you know, so I ain't really got too much to say about that one. Did you feel like you were on point knowing the defense or were there things that you were kind of like, I'm not really like so sure on this? Uh, nobody perfect, you know, but. Like you said, you go out there every day, you give your best shot, and then whatever happened at the end of the day, that's what happens. So that's that's basically what I've been doing. As you coach the, oh, go ahead. How'd you evaluate the Jets game? Talking about last week? Yeah. The game or practice? Yo, the, the, uh, the uh, game. Yeah, like, uh, like when you guys play the Jets. You man, you messing me up, man. I, <laughs> I, I, I usually tend, I try not to go back that okay. way. Or this way, but you know, just for the sake of your question, man. Uh, I mean, it was a solid game. You know, we was a great team effort. Um, and in the day, what's most important? We got the W. Um, me individually, it's a couple of things. You know, a couple of plays that maybe could have been um, executed better. But like I said, in the, the day, it was a great team effort. We got the W. Yeah, it looked like you could. Well, it looked comfortable in that game. I was over there, so Okay. How was it for you? How was it for you? It was good. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, look, you ain't, you know, you look like you was throwing to the ball. Mm -hmm. You stuff had to be good to be out there. Most definitely, man. I love the game, man. Like I said, any aspect of it. I mean, I'm, I'm out there playing. They get calling me to make a play. So that's that's just how I go. But I love the game. I love being able to help my team win any way that is. Last week, got to be at Nickel. And we came up with a W. I feel like I played a part in that. So it's great. Coach said, he, you know, hey, we got a long range plan for him, Led. Don't be, you know, blow it, blow it, blow it, blow it a little bit. But, you know, how do you stay patient and try to fulfill, you know, the things that you know, people expect a lot of good stuff from? Uh, I think the easiest thing to say in what I've actually been doing, but the easiest thing to say is just taking it one day at a time, man. Like, just trying to be focused on that rep, mm -hmm. trying to be focused on that period, you know what I'm saying? Because, in my experience, when you look forward or backwards, you're just worrying about the wrong things. You need to be worried about right now. So that's all I've been trying to do. You know, I think I've been doing a good job of that. So this week should be a good week. How much did you talk to Isaiah about playing nickel before you actually went out there last Sunday? Man, if you ask Ayo, you can call him right now in this moment. Every day I watch that man because, like, you know, it's just – a great example of just practicing hard. You know, he got great habits. You know, he he out here 15 minutes early. You know what I'm saying? We out we out here after practice working on stuff. They giving me tips. Like every single day, I told him like I'm watching you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just paying attention because you never know. And it just so happened, I had to play nickel last week. So that's why I was letting him know every day like I'm watching you. And that keep him accountable. And you know that also keep me accountable. Make sure I'm locked into the game. Right. How do you mentally divide that up? Uh, so that that goes into being where I am now. So like you know, I get a uh, a rough overview of what practice look like. Coach will let me know, hey, we have your nickel this period, we have your safety this period. So usually they tell me that, okay, I'm locked in. All right, this period I need to be worried about strictly nickel. You know, in the beginning it was hard, you know, try to separate because I wanted to make some of those calls as a safety, but that's not my job no more. You know, so just being locked in to what position I'm in right now. So that's that's how you do it. Is that something you ever had to do in college? Yes. Uh, early on um, in college, uh, I was nickel and dime primary. I came in on third down, really. And then uh, we had a guy get ejected. I was a, the next safety up. In the middle of the game, I had to go play safety. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I said, like I've, I've been in situations like this, why you just always got to be locked in and in tune to what's happening right now. 
that? Does that like click back to you like that early time when you see it? Like say, oh wow, I've done this before? Or mm. is it so different that you can't even like make that comparison? That Man, uh, it's definitely another level. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's not 18 year olds out here for the most part. So, well, yeah, I ain't no 18 year olds out here. But yeah, uh, it's grown men, you know, they study their book just like we study our book and they lift weights just like we lift weights. So, man, it's, it's definitely more gritty. But at the end of the day, ball is ball, you know, so as long as you, you locked in, you focus every day, and you know what you got going on, you should be able to make plays on Sunday. I, I meant more just the, like, just the mentality of being able to do it, that you had done it. That's what I was The mentality getting. of it? Yeah, that's what I was getting You're saying shifting like, from safety to nickel? Right, whether that, whether, whether that helped you because you had kind of had to Did it in college. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, they always say, you know, next man up and everybody one play away, this and that. You know, you try not to think like that, but that's what happened, you know, so you just got to be prepared at all times. I want to take you back to when you down at the scene, but if I got a chance to check you out down there. I, you want like, back, ain't we? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, just all a little right. bit, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> you got to be down there, just, I just want to hear about, like, how, like, what your mentality was just coming in mm -hmm. to that game, like, getting ready for that game. Right. And then, right now, where, like, coming into last week or against the Jets, you were like, okay, I'm going to be playing a little bit more. Now. Right. Like, what's that? What, what's that mindset like versus the Senior Bowl, trying to compete for a spot mm -hmm. in the scene and having conversations with different teams? To now, we're like, okay, now I'm trying to compete, I'm compete for a spot, but now I'm actually on the team. The game, on the team. In the yeah. Game. Uh, so Senior Bowl was, mindset more just like I knew, like I told everybody, like we coming from a small school. Everybody always trumping on us about the national championship, this and that, you know. But, that was that was smart if you if you ask me, but uh, but yeah. So just the mindset was just like, okay, they looking at us. We coming from a small school, but we got this big ego. Like obviously, me and my uh my teammate who went there, we ain't had no egos. Like we just play hard, but uh, we just try to, Robinson. yeah, Robinson, Aaron Robinson, just get all that out of our ear, you know, and just play ball. Like we we knew we could play ball. We knew we could play with the best of them. Um, and really that was the whole goal. Just me and him, just like look and just be locked in, and whoever they line up in front of us. Just go dominate, you know what I'm saying, or do it to the best of your ability. And that's what both of us did, so we got a lot of noise down there. Um, juggling those meetings was pretty hard, though, but it, it worked out fine. And then now it's just, <clears throat> it's the same type mindset. Like, I'm in the league now, you know, so it's like, all right, if you out there, if you ain't making no plays, you know, it's all about production. If you ain't making no plays, you're not going to go back to, go out there again. So it's more about um, doing, doing my job to make the plays because, you know, I don't want to be greedy, jump out of assignment. And I made that play, but now that, you know, I got trust issues between my teammates. Like, is he going to be there next time, you know? So uh, it's just about doing your job now that you're already here. What's the special that you say has been playing in this defense where, you know, basically everybody's role could be anything mm -hmm. in for a defense? It's a blessing for real, man, because when they say next man up, like, man, safety going to nickel. We got TJ, safety going to corner. Like, it's, it's, it's just a blessing because you're able to fill in spots a lot, a lot faster than another defense probably will. You know, that's, that's just come back to everybody knowing what everybody doing. You know, having trust in you, building that in practice every day. So it's a blessing. Do you like playing inside in the slot? Man, I love being on the green. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie to you. If I'm on that green, man, it's a great day. That's, I'm, that's just plain and simple. I can be a golf fan too. Yeah. I suck at that. Man. <laughs> I tried this summer. I got whooped by some old dudes. I was, I was upset, but I try to hold it in, have a smile. Huh? How bad is it? I probably, I don't think I ever got a ball in the hole, to be honest. <laughs> I think they gave, the last hole, they gave me like a little pity put, and I still missed it. I was like, this ain't my sport, man. It's whatever. I play football. Y'all can't play me in that, so, you know. How old? What is it? How old was the guy? Man, they always in their 40s plus. That's why I was in bed. I was like, I don't worry about it. Give me about 10 years, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good. I love competition. They whooped me, though. That was the first time I ever played. Other than what that is, academy sport. They got the little golf and put in there. Dick sport. That's a lot more fun. You know, I'm good at that for like three swings. And then after that, it just everywhere, you know. I can't control that ball. It's just what it is what it is. I appreciate y'all, man.